Hello, and a very special good day to you wherever you may be. Welcome to this extra special Cooperstown Bound episode today where Gabriel is going to be trying candy from around the world. Well, I guess we're both going to be trying candy from around the world. So this is our first non-sports related video ever, but we just kind of wanted to do something a little bit different to um, keep things, you know, keep things a little different and interesting and, and hopefully provide some cheer for you guys. So. Gabriel, take it away with our worldwide candy. Okay, so we were inspired by the Austin Kleschka video about where he tries uh, candies from all around the world, but we have seven candies here, so let me show you. These are fruit pasties, or whatever you call them. Pastilles. Pastilles from England. Then we have Manor from uh, Vienna, Austria. Then this violet crumble bar from Australia, some German Smarties, a Bojan, Bo oh, okay, I thought it was Bojan, Bowden rice candy. Where's that one from? Japan. Okay. This is a uh, Milka, Flo fr Milka from Slovenia, and these are Pretz from Thailand, so. Uh, you pick which one I start with. Oh, I get to pick? Yeah. All right, let's try the Violet Crumble first. Okay. Australia. Looks like chocolate. I think Austin Kleschka got some of these, and he said they were, like, honey-flavored, I think. I don't I don't really like honey too much, but... Right, we'll see what you think. Aha. Gabriel's going to try to provide a description here as we choose this. And for the, for the paper, it's for saying, like, what they are 1 through 10. So here we go. Ahead, so take, this just this what it looks like yeah, go big ahead, bar take a bite. Mm. ah crunchy all right gabriel's chewing now i'm gonna chew that's actually pretty good it's like kind of a honey flavor mm. but i don't really know how to describe it isn't that pretty good i would say the inside of this tastes like toasted marshmallow actually yeah that kind of does and the outside of it is like chocolate mm -hmm. but Okay, so I'm actually gonna have a second bite. Okay, so um, let's see. What do you rate that? Out of ten? Yeah. I would give that like a solid eight. Eight, and then I'm gonna rate that. I like that. I like um, probably about a good seven. That was actually really good. Good way to start. Now I'm gonna pick. Let's go with the German Smarties. Oh. oh, that's how you open them. That's pretty easy. Uh, just take that off. Ooh. Oh, there they are. Last one right here. So we don't know if these are different flavors or if or they're what. like the same Smarties from America. So let's try this one. Hmm. Okay, can you hand me one? It's kind of like chocolatey inside. Oh, are they? Are they like? They're not, because they're not really like Smarties from America where it's just fruity. They're actually chocolatey inside. Mm. Yeah, I, I like they're those too. They're kind of like M&M's. Yeah. Which I kind of like them. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so. I'm trying to not break the pencil tip. Should have got a pen, but that's okay. Okay, so. What do you rate them? Well, I'll go first, but... Okay, so I rate those a good, solid... Uh, thank you. I rate those a good, solid, probably... Six? I Yeah, six. Oh, really? I... Okay. I no, six and a half, six and a half. Okay. Six and a half. What do you rate them? I would rate those as a seven. Okay. I didn't like them quite as much as the Violet Crumble. No, the Violet Crumble was actually really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you pick. All right, let's go with the fruit pastilles. Let's go fruit pastilles from England. Uh, Just tear right into it. Yep. I don't really know what to expect here. I oh. don't know if these are hard or soft. They or... look hard. Let's see. Because there's one right here. It's a little hard to open. Okay. Yeah, can you pop it out of there? Or do we need to get scissors? Aha! Uh -huh. Got it. Oh, the, look, they're, they're kind of shiny. Can you guys see that? They're really shiny. Hmm. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna try one too. I'll try it. All right, what do you think, Gabriel? Oh, that's soft. Hmm. So it looks like they're kind of all the same color. They're all like that's this really, reddish, purplish color. I really like that. That's kind of like a Sour Patch Kid, except. Oh. Oh, that is, that's really good. Grape flavored and made into a, a tiny little, like, thing, like that size. Um, so. So I'm going to guess that these are your favorites so far. Yeah, I, those were really good. Gabriel loves sour fruit candies, like Sour Patch Kids and Warheads, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to give those a nice solid nine. Or no, you go. I'll give them an 8. I definitely like these as much as the Violet Crumble. Yeah, that was very good. If I had to say a flavor, I'd say really like a really mild um, purple, kind of really like mild grape, grape bubblicious gum. Yeah, that, but that was really good. It's it, But it's not a gum, but anyway. Well, okay, now let's go with the Milkas. We're going to get some solid chocolate and nougat here. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. What is this? Oh, it's like little bars. Here. Thank you. I'm gonna put this aside. So, so what we don't know is what's inside these. Probably chocolate. Okay, I'm biting mine right now. Oh, it is chocolate. Ooh, those look good. Chocolate on the outside. Is it like ice cream on the inside? Cause the, it's like a, the box it's kinda looks like, like a, it. It's almost like a frosting on the inside or some sort of like really soft nougat. These are seriously good. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm gonna eat this whole bar. Uh, this like, it tastes like there's basically almost... Um, oh, hold on. What does that remind me of? That's like... It almost tastes like... Um, I'm trying to think of the term. It's something that, that bakers use that's milk related. Um, like condensed milk on the inside. Yeah. Kind of like a... Um, it kind of tastes like, oh, like Lint by Lindor. Mm -hmm. Those are really good. Okay. I like those. Absolutely my favorite so far. How about you? Yeah, that was really good. Not my favorite, but it was very good. So you rate it A? I'm going to say a 9 for that one. 9? Okay. And I'm going to give that one a 7.5. Okay. It's kind of tough. You pick now, since I just picked. All right, let's go with uh, Japan. Okay. Actually, I want I kind of want to end with Japan. Sorry. Yeah. Because so I know I have no idea what that is. Let's go with Manor. Okay, the, since we know these are kind of like yeah. wafers. I think I I think I kind of know what to expect here. Oh, it's like a little peel thing. Gabriel made sure, by the way, that he did not have an after-school snack today, so that he would be hungry for this video. <laughs> Getting some crumbs on the paper, but that's okay. I can just... It's all part of the experience. Yeah. Ah! It's kind of hard. Okay. There yeah. we go. Oh, this is huge. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's is like... Is it like one... Oh, it's like little pieces. Okay. And now, oh, yeah. uh, here... Well, we made a mess on that one, but... <laughs> all right, I'm going to try mine first. Let me get some of this. Well, actually... It wouldn't be a candy video without crumbs, so here we go. Very good. That is very good. It's kind of like the Little Debbie's wafers. Kind of chocolatey on inside, although it's kind of vanilla flavored, but that, yeah, mm -hmm. that's really good. I yeah. like them. Yeah. Good texture, good crunch. Not too sweet. I'd rate that a solid, um, I'll say seven and a half on that one. Okay. Those were like manor, I think. Mm -hmm. Manor. So you say seven and a half. Yep. I'm gonna go with an eight. Those I really liked. All right. So we're gonna do um, we're gonna do pretz now. From, yeah. From Thailand. Pretz from Thailand. So we can do the uh, Japan, Japanese candy last. Is this like oh? This is kind of tough. Oh, I think I got it. Just tear right into it. There, there we go. go. Oh, well, of course, there's a bag in there, too. It's like a baseball card box. 
Oh, it's pret sticks. Here we go. Ah, oh, oh, there we. Oh, it's like pretzel sticks, but so they're corn they're, flavored. They're supposed to taste like sweet corn. Sweet Thank corn. You. I like corn. And they totally do. Those. Wow. Those, that's like, that's uncanny. Yeah, that's really... That, oh, that's almost weird. That really tastes like corn. I mean, <laughs> it's good. It tastes like like buttery, sugary, sweet corn. I'm going to have another one. Though. That's like good. I like another one, too. That's actually really good. <laughs> Thank you. And it's even a little bit salty. Yeah, actually, it is kind of salty. Oh, that's so strange. It's amazing what they can do with flavors. I don't know how to feel about this. Do you like it? I, I do. I really like that. At the shop that we go to, they which have... Is, which is called Rocket Fizz, and in, it's in downtown St. Pete, Florida, by the way. Um, they have, like, a birthday cake pretz and a bunch of other flavors, but... I'm Oh, I forgot to rate them. Okay. Mm. So, pretz, I'm going to give that a... Seven and a half. What are you going to give them? I'm actually, I really like that. I'm actually going to give that an eight and a half. Okay. So, so far. Mm, nothing like sweet corn candy. <laughs> okay. Now, the boat and rice candy from okay. Japan. Last one. No idea what this is going to be. Now, I've had, I'm wondering, I've had something that I think might be kind of like this. Oh a my! Korean restaurant before. Well, oh, see. it's kind of like little, maybe mints is it, is it or. Hard or soft if you that's it? hard. Okay. It's supposed to be boat and rice candy. Yep. And there's like double wrapping here. <laughs> double wrapping. Nothing's more than a double wrapping. Oh, jeez. So make sure you get the inner paper off, otherwise it's not going to taste very good. Oh yeah, there is inner paper. Alright, so this is like immediately down to about a 5 for me because the paper's too, it's all stuck to it and it's really hard to get off on the yeah. inside. I'm guessing that you're supposed to take this off? I, well, I don't know. I don't think that this is one of those things where it like you're, you can eat it and it just dissolves in your mouth. Jeez, this is so hard. It's like stuck. Okay, I can't get it off. I'm not eating it. <laughs> well, I, hey, you know, it's it, the candy gets like starts to melt in the paper okay, sticks. Okay, I'm gonna lick it. All right, I'll lick mine too. <laughs> if I can. Hmm. I kind of like the the. Oh, I think it's I'm sort of like it. a grapefruity or watermelon flavor. Yeah. Grapefruit maybe. It's not bad. Not bad. But I'm gonna only give this a I'm gonna give this a four and a half because it's so hard to open. Yeah, it's so hard. I don't know. Okay. Maybe it's baton. I don't know. So four. you you gave it a four and a half. I'll give Sorry. it I'll give it a five. Okay. Yeah. I guess if they could, and I know it's not totally the fault of the candy or the candy makers that it probably melted a little bit in the box and the yeah. paper got stuck to it, but yeah, they can make better wrapping maybe. So, okay. Do you have anything else to add, Gabriel? Eat your violet crumble. <laughs> oh, Gabriel's having another bite. Mm, that's good. Okay, you want to do a little ASMR, chew up next to the microphone? Yummy. <laughs> There you go, everybody. Well, we really hope you've enjoyed this very different video from us. And uh, we hope to be back uh, this coming week with another video. So um, take care and be well. And we'll see you again.